It's a crowd as ready and rowdy as at any sporting event. And even some Dallas Cowboys showed up. But this competition is more science than sport. It's all about robots. I loved doing this. It was the best thing about my high school career. High school students designed and built these robots in just six weeks. They brought them here to the Irving Convention Center for regional matches in the robotics competition called FIRST. I'm hoping we're going to do really well. We've put a lot of hard work in this season. Team 5682! This year's challenge is called Recycle Rush. They start with some parts and a task. The main goal of this game is to stack totes and to put a recycle bin on top of those totes to maximize your amount of points. The containers are worth more the higher they are stacked. After learning that goal, they have to figure everything out. A design, a business plan, and more. Definitely a lot of teamwork and coming together as a group because there's a lot of parts there, a lot of stuff that has to get done in a short amount of time. In the pit area, teams make the most of every minute to make adjustments. Do it. Then, over in the practice area, all the moves in the game are refined, even beyond the technical. If you get, if you get the, um, the noodles, which is landfill, on your opponent's alliance, you actually deduct points from their scores. It's also really fun, too. To see how it can all come together, check out how this robot from Greenville performed in one of the final matches. That school has had a robotics team since 1992. Get the wrench. Pliers or something. Then for Irving's North Hills Prep, it's their first year here. Uh, it's been really hectic. We heard about this late into the competition, so after the registration was closed. It's a six-week competition, uh, and we got our supplies three weeks late, too. So we saw the videos online and all the cool things that they were doing. It kind of blew us away, and we wanted to get into that action. Ring, go down. Down. Up. Oh, okay. They can see how their robot compares to other teams. We have definitely problems, but we have a day to fix them. But North Hills is happy to gain experience to build upon. Out of all those obstacles, we surpassed them and we got a finished robot. First is an international nonprofit organization designed to boost interest in the study of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We've had several kids that they didn't think this was their path, and now they're very fired up about it. Scott Ripito is lead mentor for this team from the Woodlands. He used to teach, but decided to retire and volunteer so he could devote more time to this program. The impact this has on kids is just tremendous. So it, it was so big that I decided I couldn't teach anymore. I had to do this instead. I've been able to be exposed to things that I wouldn't be exposed to until I got into a career through this team. This team from Katie comes together to stand out by making their hair stand up. It's just to go with kryptonite, so we just spike our hair green, and it's really fun. It's just another way to get noticed as a team, and it's it kind of builds the camaraderie with the team. This is our team helmet. It's a uh, we're the bunnies. Teams are always ready to show off enthusiasm, but even in all this fun, they know how science students can be perceived. We're kind of considered like the nerds and stuff like that. Nerd That's what we get most of this fun, so y'all are kind of nerdy. It is taunting that can be taken to extremes, and it had a big impact on this team from Colleen. One of the students was bullied so bad they went to almost committed suicide. So it's dear and dear to our heart and a, a passion that we've been pushing everywhere we go. They have taken on anti-bullying as a cause, asking people to sign this poster and spreading the message anytime they can. I know I've had a really rough past with bullying, so I think that's actually what started it is what my past. I was always the weird kid. Actually, it evolves into a lot of bad stuff, but I'm glad that I'm better and I have a really supportive team. There is another reason for their serious tone. Their principal and backer died just two weeks before this competition. He always came by to see if we were good. He helped a lot personally. He also donated money to us to make sure that we kept up and we needed, we got what we needed. Although he passed away, we know that he's still here with us, so we're gonna be doing this just for him. The students know that a sure way to bolster pride from their educators and prove their haters wrong is to succeed. 
Every student I talk to has a clear career and education plan. The career I want to do is mechanical engineer. I want to be an aerospace engineer. An environmental engineer. And sticking with those plans will likely lead to success. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says STEM fields will grow 55% faster than others in the next decade. I want to do biomedical engineering, and so robotics is a very big part of that. At the moment, it's, it's space. I like to, like the whole Mars mission, that seems so important to me. It's definitely good at the school to have a group of kids that are all into the same thing that you are, that are getting together every night and hanging out together. Making friends and a future at first. This is like a stepping stone to greater and bigger things.